is going on youtube nation it's time to do the 500 uh push-up challenge and uh i think i have my ear pods hooked up let me let me go ahead and quick are connected now it's time to do the 500 push-up challenge i don't know if i'm going to be able to walk or walk use my arms in the morning uh when i was live on YouTube.com slash the fantasy football show right here doing my draft. Many of you saw Brendan Haywood and I joke around about a challenge that we would make each other do if we lost the, you know, the total point race between each other, like a side bet. And I went ahead and said 500 pushups in one sitting. He's like, no way, no way. You can't do that. Well, I'm trying to see who's in here. Um, I said, yeah, I think I can. He said, no, you can't. Everybody's telling me, no, I can't. And maybe I can't. Maybe I won't be able to do 500 push-ups. I don't know. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try right now. I'm just waiting for more people to get in the room. Hit the thumbs up on your way in the door. And uh, we'll see if I can do this. 500 push-ups. I'll probably do like 40 the first pop. Um, I'll probably try and do maybe 30 or 25 each attempt after that, each set. And then we'll see how many... I can get to now. I hope I don't lose count. I might, I might need to get a pen and paper that I can write down what I'm at because I have a feeling once I get really, really high up there in the numbers, I'm going to probably lose my mind. So here we go. We're starting. We're doing it live. What is going on here? I don't know what the hell is up with YouTube and Instagram, but I went live. When I go live, I have like 20 to 30 people minimum on a, on an Instagram live. When I go live, YouTube's like 30 to a hundred and both of them right now are showing weird numbers. Like both at the same time, this is really odd. All right. So here we go. 500, 500 pushups. Can you guys hear me? Okay. On my ear pods. Like, am I clear this far away? 500 pushups. Can I do it? Will I fail? Hit the thumbs up on your way in. Let me back the camera up even more. I wonder if that's better. No. Let's see right there. I think that's good. Okay. 500 push-ups. I'm going to regret this. Okay, here we go. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, 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 Th uh, 40 about wiped me out. I need to see. Okay. Can everybody see me okay? I have audio playing in the background. And it's annoying as hell. I think I'm live again. What in the hell? Whenever I guided access on my phone, it plays audio. I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, I think we're live still. You get you guys still there? Okay. 
40 down. <laughs> 40 down. Bug. 40 down. I think YouTube's jacked up tonight. I don't even think we're live. Are we live? Hey, Smitty. Okay, I think we're live. So that's 40. 40 in the hole. Damn, I'm not going to be able to do this. <laughs> 17, 18, 19. Good morning. Yeah. 60 out of 500 down. I did 40 the first time. 20 there. That's only 60. <laughs> Son of a bitch. This is going to be harder than I thought. I told you, Smitty. What do you guys think about the team so far? I love my team in the analyst versus uh, NBA player league. I've got freaking Tom Brady and uh, Russell Wilson in a one QB league, mind you. But I love having both quarterbacks and I have trade bait. I've already tossed out a bunch of trade offers. But uh, running backs, Clyde Boy, Edwards Hilaire, what are you – what do you think? I can't read from over there, bro. This is a push-up challenge. I'm trying to do 500 in one sitting, and I'm only at 60. I don't think I'm going to be able to lift my body after a couple hundred, if not a hundred. <laughs> I didn't think my body would give out this quickly. Oh my god. I think it broke my elbow. <laughs> I'm old. How much was that? Six? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm at, I hope Haywood's not watching right now. I'm at 66. <laughs> and I, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. Sixty-six. All right. All right. Second wind. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight. Sixty. Oh my god. I'm done. I'm not even. <laughs> not gonna even get to two hundred. Yeah. No notifications came on. I don't know what the hell is going on. IG. No notifications came on for IG as well. I went live on both platforms, and literally no one showed up. You know, twenty to a hundred people show up on each one depending on what I'm doing. I literally had no one show up for the first minute or two on both. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm at 70 push-ups. I I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. Like the problem is if I take a 10 minute break or five minute break and I do another 40, take a five minute break, do another 40. I can do that. The problem is I'm trying to do them with almost no break in my body. I'm at 70. 70 push-ups and my body's breaking down. Oh, okay. Let's try again. We got to get to like 200, right? I don't even think I can. Can't move my arms. <laughs> 500 push-ups is no joke. <laughs> and I know I'm going to hear a bunch of, I told you so, Smitty. I told you so, Smitty. Well, you know what? You know what's good about failure? is that I get to come and improve upon this. I get to do this another day. I get to train. I get to get ripped. Right now, I'm not ripped. Looks like a, just a tree trunk. No definition whatsoever. i got to get my shit in shape, man. This is some bullshit. This is some bullshit. 70 push-ups and I'm already dead tired. 71, 72, 73, 71. <laughs> Eight, 
85. 85. How am I this tired? I know I'm not giving myself much of a break. That's got to be the reason. Because the other day, I did 40, took a break, went back to work, did another 35, took a small break, went back to work, did 25, small break, went back to work, 20, small break, went back to work. There's no break shit. It's breaking my body down. I'm at 85. Five, how am I going to do 500 push-ups? Let's see if my body can rest for a minute. The problem's going to be when I just can't get up anymore. 86. 87. 80, 89. 90. 91. 92. Ninety-two. Ninety-two. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard, man. Ninety-two. I thought I was gonna pop. I thought I was gonna pop forty off, just like I would in like a P90X workout. <laughs> Phone keeps dimming. With my ass. I thought I was gonna pop forty off. 35 off, 30 off, 35 off. And then I thought, like, when I, once I got over 2, 250, I'd be slowing down, doing what I'm doing now, like creep, creeping along. But when you don't take much of a break, you just do another 40, your body just freaking dies. Like, I can't move. It's not that I'm – I feel like it's not that I can't do it. It's that – I don't know what. 92. Okay. Oh. Oh. 92. Son of a bee, man. This yacht is hard. But failure. Failure sets us up for retries. Failure sets us up to go again. And uh, this, I don't know how many weeks I'm going to need to train to do it, but I'm going to do it. I will do a refresh video of this. It may take me. I don't I, it might not be a long stream bro it might not be a long stream at all because I don't think my body's going to push it up anymore I bet the counselor can do it <laughs> I highly doubt it the thing about it is when you wait what's doobie saying doobie saying impressed if you get to 100 go smitty I'm at 97 and I'm not taking that big of breaks. Oh, does that count as one? Okay, no, my knees are down. 97. 98. 99. 100. 100. At least I quit in the single or double digits. Oh, my elbow. <laughs> What did Hay Haywood tell me? Haywood said, "Don't. He won't be able to move your arms." 
BDG, I don't think BDG can do it. 500. I like to see it. I challenge him. Hey, Nick. Nick, who never invites me on his show. Hey, Nick. I challenge you and me. Doesn't count. This doesn't count as our challenge. I get a whole week or two or three to prepare. But, Nick, I challenge you. Anybody that knows Nick, you go at mention him. You put it in comments. You blast and spam the hell out of this. Nick, I challenge you, one month from today, you versus me, who can do more push-ups in one live stream? You versus me, two hour, no, we'll do an hour max live. You get one hour. Who can do more push-ups in one hour? I challenge you, Nick, you already know what I'm working with. I'm working with, when I get to 100, I'm working with 100 and a dimming phone. 100, Nick. Took me that many sets to get there. You know what you're working with. I challenge you, Nick. Me versus you. One month from today. What is today's date? The, what is today's date? September, what? September 6th. So, October, or October 6th. Nick, October 6th, bro, you versus me. Will you be there? If you're not there, I'm streaming live anyway, and I'm going to do it against a, a, an empty spot, and I'm going to beat your ass in it. That's what's going to happen if you don't show up. Me versus you, Nick. Oh. And I, you got a big hit start, I'm sure, on me. Probably got 15 years younger. Going up against this old man. This old man came rolling home. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> my my elbow. My elbow. It's about to break. Uh, hundred. <laughs> At least I made it to a hundred. Oh, crawling toward the line. In the future, October six, Smitty will win. This is buffoon. Avi. I thought I was a badass coming into this. I'm, I'm humbled. I'm humbled. I can't even lift myself up anymore. I did 100, 100 and a half, 100. I did one fifth what I said I was going to do. And it took me 17 minutes to die. 17 minutes to die. 400 more to go, Corey. I'm done. 100 not impressive. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself. I can do 40 to 45 if I had to in one sitting. How can I only do 60 additional push-ups with no break? How do I break down? <sighs> Somebody go tag Nick, BDG. You tell him that I'm coming for him. And if he doesn't show up, he's going to lose. He's going to forfeit, plain and simple. 500, or no, not 500. Who can do more push-ups in one hour live stream? Take as many breaks as you want. Maybe I need to do that. My elbow. My elbow's done. Oh, yeah, Nick. Yeah, that Nick, Captain. Go go tag him. Go tag Nick. Go tag that young, what is he, 20? He's probably 26 years old, 27 years old. You tell him I'm coming for him. You tell him the old man's coming for him. Him versus me. Him versus me, he better show up. One hour, who does more push-ups? You know, you can, he can watch this live stream. He can scout me and go, dude, I got this guy. I got this guy. Ugh. Smitty, I challenge you Monday. Don't challenge me Monday. Uh, can I do 101? Can I, I don't know if I can, my, my elbow. Haywood, Haywood, Haywood told me. They would told me, be careful. You're going to break your, your elbow. I think I broke my elbow. <laughs> Shit. Oh, my earbud. My ear. <laughs> my earbud. Oh. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if I can even do. Let's see if I can do a pull up now. Oh, God. That took me 20 minutes to kick my own ass. Let's see if I can do a pull up. 
I don't think I can even do one pull up right now. Oh. And I can't even bend my like here's my elbow. I can push it in. This part of my elbow, like, it like hurts right there. It's like a something's in the way. Oh yeah, it looks like different muscles. That's like you know, obviously different muscles. Uh, pull, pull ups mainly do your back anyway, but I do my pull ups kind of tight, so I figured it would hamper me in my chest, but it didn't. And now, you know what the worst part about this? You know what the absolute worst part about this is? Yeah. Miss Mitty had to had to bring a box of donuts and set it right there, right in front of me. Chocolate, maple, the twist things, whatever they're called. Coming for you, Nick. I'm coming for you. B D G E. Nick, I'm coming for you. This old man's coming for you, Nick. I can't, my elbow. All right, who's got questions for me? Corey, I'm done. I'm done. I already failed. I failed. I couldn't I couldn't do more than 100 push-ups in one sitting. My body broke down. I didn't have the endurance for it. It takes training. Clearly, I can still do a pull-up, but my muscles used for a push-up are completely shot. What I am going to do, though, is in my studio, I'm putting a pull-up bar in the ceiling. And every super chat I get, every dollar will equate to a pull-up. Every 99 cents, even. So when someone, someone gives a 199, that's two, pull, two pull-ups. Every super chat I get, I do a pull-up, a dollar. So I think I'm going to get ripped. You guys are going to help me. And... Uh, yeah, I think we'll regress more. Chubb or Eckler regress more. I don't think Eckler will regress at all. I think Eckler is going to improve. What's my Twitter? The underscore Smitty underscore show. I think Eckler is going to be a top five to 10 running back. I think Eckler, you give him more work. Eckler is going to drop more points. I'm working. I'm trying to work hard, Mark. I'm trying to. Josh Kelly or Daryl Williams. Um, Daryl. Better offense. Eckler is five foot eight. Durability will be an issue, says Captain Spock. Uh, he did it in college. MJD Ray Rice built very much like him. I don't think I'll have a problem. He's compact, different, different type of. Uh, he he's he's thick, dude. He's not a tiny guy. He's not like a Darren Sproles. Who, who did it too. Um, he's not, he's, he's cut, he's ripped. He's like a bowling ball. Uh, I think he'll hold up fine. Thoughts on Duke Johnson. I've no, I've, I haven't drafted him once in my 19 already drafted leagues, man. Some of them are deep as hell too. I haven't dra- drafted Duke Johnson once. Um, I wouldn't, I don't, I, I mean, later on, could an opportunity develop? Sure. Then maybe I go after Duke, but I'm not drafting Duke. Oh, Eckler, 548 durability will be an issue. I thought you meant Clyde. I'm sorry. Uh, Eckler, I don't think will be an issue either. Eckler is five foot. Is he five foot eight? I want to say he's, he's a little taller than that. But I'll have to look at Eckler's height and weight. I don't know if I – I don't have any issues with his weight and height. He's been doing it, dude. Eckler hasn't broken down really yet. Eckler's been working out like a madman, getting in the best shape of his life. I think Eckler's going to be fine. 
Just drafted today, 10-team Superflex non-PPR redraft. Got Brady, Kamara, Hopkins, DJ Moore, Kittle, Love Bell, Ridley, Keenan. Keenan, Higby, I like it. Great team, man. Freeman, he could go to the Jags, yeah. And I think he'd be, he'd be somebody to pick up. I don't know if I count on much yet, but pick him up, wait, wait and see. Clickbait. Clickbait? Uh, no, up at, over 24. It's not clickbait. I already failed. I failed at 100, bro. I failed at 100. I couldn't pick up my body. I guess I could try it again. But I don't I don't think I'm doing many more. Like, let's see. Can I get more than... I don't want to hurt my elbow, though. So I got a, I got a competition with Nick from BDDE. I got to be ready for... Oh... I don't think I can do any more. One. Oh, yeah. Two. Three. Four. win just a little bit of rest just a little bit of rest is all I needed just a little bit 24 comes in and says clickbait Smitty says no and I pop off 121 now 121 what was I doing giving up why did I give up I just wasn't giving myself a proper rest I think we know what I need to do now. Do some push-ups. Come over here. Let the blood flow. Do some do some of that counselor boxing where the fantasy football counselor pretends to box. <laughs> Robinson versus Moore. Robinson A Rob versus DJ Moore. Let's see here. Someone, some of those push-ups are weak, though. Says, do you know what? They look weaker than they they feel. I think a lot of times it feels like you're doing a full push-up, and you could swear to somebody you are, and then you rewatch it, and you're like this. And your elbow is not even close to locked, but. I, I assure you, if you were doing it, you'd be like, this is a full push-up. It just, you know, in replay, replay mode. What do I think of Fournette? I think Fournette is a good flex play. That's it. You, you buy him at running back two value, you're going way too high. Let somebody else mess around with that. Go get somebody else. There's so many more safer running back twos out there, like a Mostert, an Ingram, Jonathan Taylor, I had people saying once uh, Eckler and Drake and those second round running backs are gone. Fournette's right there. No, thank you. Give me A.J. Brown in the fourth round over Fournette. Give me Kittle, Kelsey. Give me Jonathan Taylor. Give me Evans, obviously. Uh, give me D.K. Give me Chark. Give me all those fourth round guys before I start going after Fournette. Twenty about one twenty one. One twenty one. One twenty one. I feel like I can't do more, but then I just pop twenty one off. I don't know about popped them off. I probably looked sad. To me, it felt like I was a well oiled machine <laughs> until I rewatched the replay. One twenty one. One. There's locked elbows, doobie. 122, 123, 124, 25, 26. Is that good, Doobie? 127, 128, 
Oh, uh, super chat. Uh, Mark Cleveland. Mark Cleveland with a super. <laughs> Gotta get that pizza and coke. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. I'm liking that from old man Smitty, says Dread Ocean. Any chance of David Johnson going off this year? What do you think? No. Do push ups on your knuckles. <sighs> Prepare to punch somebody in the face. On my knuckles? Okay. I will, Doobie. Doobie's going to get me hurt. Doobie's going to get me hurt. I can't believe my elbow is still working. I want to get to 150. 150 sounds impressive, I think. Because, like, you're like, oh, how many push-ups can you do? I can do 40 or 50. Oh, yeah? How many can you do in one sitting? Well, like 150. That's like three t- You know, that's over three times that number. So, you know, 160 would be perfect because you could be like, that's four times my 40, baby. I can do 160. That's not as impressive. I think. This whole, you know, barely getting to 100 bullshit. What am I at? 120, 128? You need to let it go. You need to let it go. You need to let it go. Oh, God. Or DJ Moore. Stop testing me with a donut, Spock. Woods. Hey, Rob. DJ Moore, Bell, or Gurley? Who would you take, Bell? Hey, Robert Woods. Probably A Rob. What am I at? What number am I at? 130 what? Have a donut. Spock, stop it. 132? Shit. I don't know if I can do a knuckle push-up, bro. On the wood floor? Is this smart? (laughs) I I don't have this... Ask me to do a knuckle push-up at the beginning, Spock, or Doobie, whoever asked me. Doobie. Mm, Yeah, son of a bitch. What is that, 133? (laughs) That was impressive. 34. 35. Adams or Kenyon Drake. I mean, ADP tells you Adams, but depends who you can get in the second round. I'm tired of that. I might call it. 33 minutes, 133. I want to get to 140 at least. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Is that older? What are you saying? Is that order? What? Take a breather. This smells like piss.
this rug. What did you do over here? This is where you eat. This is where you eat. I look like I've been through a war. I have been up through a war. It's to, to, oh, okay, someone's question. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. You ready? I'm at 133. Last attempt, and then I'm done. <laughs> I thought I had momentum with me. <laughs> 134 was your last push up. You failed us, Smitty. Sanders or Aaron Jones, that's even. Isaac says, go to bed. Isaac, you go to bed. This smells like piss again. Again, might find myself in piss. Let's try doing it over the piss, because if I fall in piss, I think I'll have more motivation to get up. Okay, let's try that. One more. <laughs> right over the piss. Here we go. No! No! <laughs> It's like a slow lowering. Oh. All right. 134. Not horrible. Not horrible. I, in fact, if I wait a minute, I bet I can get to 150. What did I do? 21 after a little rest? I did a pull up before. Yeah, something about doing a different exercise, I think is what did it. Yeah, I was boxing like the counselor. That helped. Mark, you've got me feeling bad. I need to work out. We all need to work out. We all need to do this together. We need to push each other. Part of why I did this is because I knew I was going to fail. I thought I'd get further, I'll be honest with you. But it allows me to set myself up for, hey, I'm accountable. You guys are watching me fail. And you, when you ask me, hey, Smitty, when are you going to retry doing your 500 push-ups? I'm going to be able to say, damn it, I got to do that now because I did it in front of you all and I, I failed. Time to redo it on another in another time, another day, another video. I can't. Feel my arms. And look at, I mean, I've got a muscle there, but it's not defined. I'm going to rip, I want to rip up and I want to go when I, when I get my pull-up bar in my studio, every super chat dollar will be a pull-up. If I'm in the middle of a live stream, I get a $5 super chat. I'm grabbing that bar and I'm doing five pull-ups. And then by the end of, so I'm going to get in the studio here in about three or four weeks. By the end of December, not even next year, end of December, I better be one ripped dude. And you know that you guys all had a part in that. Mark Cleveland, especially Umberger. Imagine if Umberger comes in and drops a hundo. Probably won't be able to do 100 pull-ups in the, in the live stream. Clearly, I could barely do 100 push-ups. Push-ups are easier than pull-ups by a, a mile. So if, if a hundo gets dropped, probably going to fail. Probably going to fail that day. But that will be part of the fun of the show. That's a new added dynamic to the show. Spock, you can answer too. Uh, Angroy, let me look at your question, Angroy. Waits me, do you think Miles' injury is concerning? Yeah, I, 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 I've said I'm worried about Miles Sanders 100%. 
New scenery, new scenery. Oh, get the blood flowing. Okay. 134. 141. Let's get more respectable. <clears throat> 141. Can I get nine more? I'm gonna pop nine more off. Hold on, let me text. Hold on one second again. Important text. Okay. I am in my first keeper league. Should I try and keep young running backs like Moss and Dobbins or trade them? And for a good deal. Umberger. Is Smitty the new Mr. Clean? I am. I am. I'm the new Mr. Clean Umberger. I'm the new Mr. Clean. Umberger paid two dollars. He wants two push-ups. You ready, Umberger? I'm telling you, I am a man of competitive nature. I am a man that when I'm challenged. It's hard for me to back down. I mean, like, you know, within reason, I, I totally shut off my challenge meter when I get 100 people a day going, Schmitty, I challenge you, blah, blah, blah. But when I'm motivated for a challenge, I get crazy. And I'm telling you, I'm going to get to a 500, a place where I can do 500 push-ups, and you're going to be like, damn, I remember when Smitty couldn't barely do 141. If Miss Smitty comes out here, it's going to look kind of awkward. <laughs> What you doing? <laughs> Could you answer the question, please? Oh, God. The expectations of you guys while I'm doing push-ups, man. Thank you, Umberger, for the super chat. I'm in a first keeper league. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, it depends, man. I mean, it, who, who are you comparing to? Young running backs and wide receivers with potential, but that doesn't really give me an answer. Like, I'm just kidding. Uh Ellis, um, that doesn't give me much to go on. I don't know what wide receivers you're comparing them to. Do I love J.K. Dobbins? Absolutely. Do I love him as a keeper? 100%. Do I like him over as a keeper over Melvin Gordon, even, even though Melvin Gordon could outscore him in 2020? J.K. Um, do I like Clyde over Barkley or McCaffrey because you get extra years? Absolutely. Do I like Mahomes over pretty much anybody outside the top six overall? Probably. And you might call me crazy, but you get 10 years of Patrick Mahomes in a dynasty keeper format. That's that's more valuable than people understand. Because you're not supposed to like QBs early. Oh, okay. Oh. 141, right? We got to get to 150. I'm getting a call in four minutes and I got to hang up. So if a call happens, I might be done. That's that's like when your car is dead and you're 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 getting a jump and you turn the key too early when the battery is charging up and you're like, damn, you wasted all that time charging and you turn the key too early. Now you got to sit it out and wait a whole you flood, you know, it's like flooding the engine. Um, it's like interstellar when they tried to take off too early on the planet and the engines got flooded. I, Isaac, Isaac, that's cute, man. Isaac says, don't, don't overwork it, Smitty. Don't overwork it. So does, Isaac doesn't know. Isaac doesn't know that I do 24 hour live streams. I don't know what it means to underwork. Okay. Now, am I flooding the engine? Am I, did I not wait long enough? I don't think I can get to 150. I got nine more. 141. I can't even pick my body up. Oh. How come whenever I do a pull up, get out of the way of the camera? It's not your life. Okay. Oh, I think I have to do a blood flow. Blood flow. Blood flow. Oh. Uh, 
hamburger paid for two push-ups. He's going to get it. 141. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm calling it. 141. That's it. 141. On how Smitty arms feel tomorrow. You'll see me tomorrow. I'll go live. Um, 141 shouldn't make me that dead. I'm more disappointed. I love Eckler. Uh, Eckler over the younger running backs. Eckler, yeah. Eckler all day. Eckler, I, I drafted Dynasty in the top 12. We need two more. Okay, I'm trying. If I get this call, I got to go. But I'm trying on burger. I just, I shouldn't have done two. Put, I shouldn't have tried to do. I should have rested the whole entire time up to this point. I flooded my engine. Now I got to wait again. Reasoning. Smitty give reasoning for Eckler. Uh, because in a dynasty draft, I draft him in the top 12. Uh, JK, no. Um, Eckler is not like super young. But he could have two or three years. He could have – that's a long time. People are too worried about the future. How many dynasty keeper leagues have you been in that have crumbled? You know, how many people in this chat right now have been in dynasty leagues that have fallen apart um, recently? Redraft? Eckler over who? Who are you trying to compare Eckler to then if you're talking redraft? Because it, it it's not going to be J.K. Dobbins, bro. Miles, see, I'm missing shit, dude. I'm doing push-ups. I can't. I don't know if you guys change topics. <laughs> uh, but Eckler over Miles all day. Eckler over Julio, not all day, but it's my preference. Miles Sanders is a late second round pick to me. Yeah, Eckler's only 25, but look at Gurley. Gurley's 20. Would Gurley still 25? Or did he turn 26? Age doesn't really matter anymore. What matters is workload. He's got at least two or three years left. Could have three elite years left. That's enough. You pick 10 and 15. Eckler, man. Oh. <laughs> I can't even get up. I just hit my back on the chair. Oh, my God. There's hair all over the cat. My cat, man. Anybody want a cat? It can come take him right now. I'll open the front door. Okay. I'm burger. This one's for you, buddy. <sighs> 42. 43. 44. 44. <sighs> Can I do four more? Four more. Four more. 150 is so much better than 146. <laughs> Thanks, Umberger. At least I got some pot. Uh, Mark Cleveland, I think Doobie was giving me props, and I think he took it back and said I look like a fish trying to do push ups. 147. Peace out. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, I don't even have to say your name. Malt, call you Malta. Thanks, Malta. I was just joking with you, Malta, too, when I was like, I'm doing push ups, bro. Blah, blah, blah. Um, my question, or your question Sanders, injury risk. He's already hurt. Philadelphia does multiple running backs constantly. It's their thing historically. So you got to worry about that. They wanted to bring in. Who was it? Carlos Hyde. Um, then there was talk about Freeman. They didn't bring Freeman in. Lots of reasons to be skeptical of Miles Sanders at what you would constitute as your number one overall player. I like him at the tail end of the second round. 
he's kind of a poor man's Camara. Eckler was a top five to seven running back on the year in 2020 with Melvin Gordon on the roster. They're going to give him more carries. There's reason to believe that Eckler is going to run for a good thousand yards, bro. Okay. By the way, my feet look funny. My, my daughter did marker all over my legs. She gave me fake tattoos. So my toe isn't bruised. It's marker. Okay. Three more. We're getting to 150. You know, every time I do a pull-up, I can do it. It's weird. It's almost like working another muscle. I don't know if there's any trainers in here. But working another muscle makes the other ones capable of not locking up or something. Okay, three more. 147. 48. 49. One. one for fun. 151. 151. It took me 50 minutes to do 151. I feel better about that. I feel better about that. Putting that down. 151. 151. I'm not such a loser after all. At least I feel like if I had 80, you know, I'm like, oh, I can do 40 in one pop which I can, but then I end with 80 or 101. That's sad. 151. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not happy, not proud. But Nick, I'm coming for you. Somebody go chow. Everybody drop. Go to BDGE's, um, one of their last videos, and just drop it over and over. Spam the hell out of them. Say, Nick, Smitty's challenging you. To who can do more push-ups you can take, you know, in a single one-hour live stream. Him versus me. Old man versus young boy. And uh, even though he looks older than me. <laughs> um, you had four more to go. So technically, it's 150. But who's counting? I had four more to go. Uh, four more to go for what? Yeah, go unleash hell on Nick. And you tell him I'm coming for him. You tell him hell's coming with me. What movie's that from? <sighs> all right, guys. I appreciate all of you. 52 minutes. Longer than I thought. Hit the thumbs up on the way out. By the way, I love my team in the NBA Ballers versus the Analyst League. I got freaking Brady and what Russell Wilson. I've got a running back Eckler, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Mostert at wide receiver. I've got Mike Evans. I've got AJ Brown. I've got Mark Andrews at tight end. I freaking killed it. And in that draft, that the NBA players were talking trash. Brennan Haywood, I know knows his stuff. Ryan Hollins, I know knows his stuff, although I, you know, I like Haywood's team a little more than Hollins team. Um, and, and Hollins took a Ertz really early, but Haywood did pretty good, but we, we, we schooled them, schooled them. It's going to, it's going to be no contest. The analysts are going to finish like one, two, four, six, seven. Like, you know, when we, when we look at the end of the year, Arenas in a one QB league, Gilbert Arenas is in this draft and he got the one pick. I got the uh, six pick. Gilbert Arenas took Lamar Jackson at 1.1 in a 1QB, 4-point per TD pass league. And then guess what Gilbert did in the second round? At 2.12, the last pick in the second round, he takes Kareem Hunt, who I love, but is literally, yeah, Gilbert Arenas. Literally, Kareem Hunt is, is a you know, now he's falling to the fifth round, and I love him there. But he took Kareem Hunt in the second round. No. Talks. We're not done yet. You know who Gilbert Arenas took at 3.1 on the turn? So he took back-to-back in the second and third round, back-to-back picks on the turn. He took Kareem Hunt at 2.12. Rob Gronkowski at 3.01. And he was talking mad shit. And if you go to his stories, and he's got, you know, I want to say, 
half a million or a million followers. I don't know. But he posted it like he was proud of his team. <laughs> and so I'm trying to get him to go live with me and 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 talk about it because uh, Brandon Haywood. So there's six NBA players, Brandon Haywood, Ryan Hollins, David Noel, Brandon Wright, all former NBA players. Gilbert Arenas, who's a first round fantasy guy for years. Gilbert Arenas is like he was so elite in the NBA and only one current NBA player, Udonis Haslam. And he's currently in the bubble in the playoffs right now. And he's got multiple rings, I think. So Haslam's a baller. Um, Haslam uh, did, did okay in the draft. Gilbert did horrible. It's agent Owen 13 is what we're going to call him <laughs> in the draft. Uh, but he got on and talked mad shit. But anyways, Hay- Hayward and Hayward and Hall is, Hollins are the guys I know real well. And they kind of circled in a lot of these players into the league. Uh, Smitty, I would be careful talking sweet on Arenas. Why is that? Why do I I'd be careful? I like I like Arenas. I want him to come on live. Why are all you drafting with these athletes if you, they don't have a clue about how to draft? Because it's fun to play them, man. They're talking mad smack. So Hollins and Haywood, I talk to them all the time about fantasy advice. They go on their live they come on my live. We talk fantasy football. We cross over. They love talking sports. So they're trash talking a little bit. You know, Hall, uh, Haywood and Holland's playing a lot of leagues. And um, so we got to go in, like, let's create a league. You know, you ballers think you're better than the analysts. You know, we're, we're, we're dorks. We just sit on the sideline and rank and don't actually play in, this, in the game. So we're like, okay, fine. You know, we'll show you what we know. You're coming into our home court. This is like uh, McGregor going into the boxing ring. You know, McGregor's talented. All these NBA ballers are, are ultra good at analyst type stuff and NBA stuff, but then they're coming into the boxing ring essentially for us and in our field. And just look at the draft log. I'll post the draft log, but you can go to my, my most recent video and you can see the whole draft unfold. It's like two and a half hours. Uh, so, um, talks uh ellis go look at the live it's the last video i did before this one it's a two and a half hour live draft and brandon haywood comes on pretty much the whole time and we talk about the draft as it unfolds so go rewatch that that live stream but man we worked them we worked them good <sighs> so many do you have plans to do a weekly show with russ and dr raj weekly i don't, we'll find out um i our, I've been on CBS Sports for 16 straight years. Um, I started my career there on CBS Sports, dropping all the bold predictions. It's kind of how I started in the business, and I haven't stopped. I've been on CBS Sports every single week during the NFL season, weeks one through you know, 17 for 16 straight years on CBS Sports. It was once on NBC Sports Radio. We moved it to CBS, uh, 1580, and unfortunately – it looks like it's going to be canceled this year. So our longest running fantasy football radio show in the world. And I don't think anybody's going to ever beat it. Uh, we're not talking about a podcast, uh, you know, your mama's podcast in the, in the basement. This is a terrestrial meaning on a dial radio station uh, show. And I don't think anyone, I've only been on it 16 years. It's gone on for 23 years straight. I joined up when it was, you know, six, seven years into it. And it's been going for 23 straight years. So you did fantasy show on Sirius affiliates for four years. Nice work, but 23 years coming to an end on the dial. Longest fantasy football radio show in the world on the planet. No one has a 23 year long radio show. We do. We did pretty sure COVID took it out because a lot of it has to do with sponsorships and being on site at a certain bar and grill that we usually go to for 16 straight or 23 straight years. It's been at a certain location. We do it on site. A lot of marketing goes into that. COVID's taking it out. COVID is royally screwed our streak, but that doesn't mean we won't come back next year. Agent zero was crazy good, but yeah, he's lost his mind over the gambling debt. Uh, 
I don't know. I'm not too sure about that. I know I like Agent Zero a lot. Um, I don't know too much about all that. But if he comes on my live, he's going to mad trash talk me. I know that, like in a good way. And and I, I just can't wait to get him on because uh, he was so good at basketball, man. I drafted him in the first round. I can't tell you how many times in fantasy basketball. Uh, but, hey, I got to get going. Appreciate all of you guys. Later.